Paul Albert Anka O.C. is a Canadian-American singer, songwriter, and actor. He became famous with hit songs including Diana, Lonely Boy, Put Your Head on My Shoulder, and Having My Baby. He wrote the theme for The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, one of Tom Jones's biggest hits She's a Lady, and the English lyrics to Claude Francois and Jacques Riveau's music for Frank Sinatra's signature song My Way, which has been recorded by many, including Elvis Presley. Two songs he co-wrote with Michael Jackson, This Is It and Love Never Felt So Good, became posthumous hits for Jackson. Early Life Anka was born in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada to Camellia and Andrew Emil Andy Anka Sr., who owned a restaurant called the Locanda. His parents were both of Lebanese Christian descent. His father came to America from Babtuma in Damascus, Syria, and his mother was an immigrant from Lebanon. His mother died when he was 18. Anka sang with the St. Elias Antiochian Orthodox Cathedral Choir under the direction of Frederick Karam, with whom he studied music theory. He studied piano with Winifred Rees. He attended Fisher Park High School, where he was part of a vocal trio called the Bobby Soxers. Career Early Success Paul Anka recorded his first single, I Confess, when he was 14. In 1956, with $100 given to him by his uncle, he went to New York City where he auditioned for Don Costa at ABC Records, singing what was widely believed to be a love-struck verse he had written to a former babysitter. In an interview with NPR's Terry Gross in 2005, he stated that it was to a girl at his church whom he hardly knew. The song Diana brought Anka stardom as it went to number one on the Canadian and U.S. music charts. Diana is one of the best-selling singles ever by a Canadian recording artist. He followed up with four songs that made it into the top 20 in 1958, including It's Time to Cry, which hit number four and My Heart Sings, which reached number 15, making him one of the biggest teen idols of the time. He toured Britain, then Australia with Buddy Holly. Anka also wrote It Doesn't Matter Anymore, a song written for Holly, which Holly recorded just before he died in 1959. Anka stated shortly afterward. It doesn't matter anymore has a tragic irony about it now, but at least it will help look after Buddy Holly's family. I'm giving my composer's royalty to his widow, it's the least I can do. Paul Anka's talent included the theme for The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. He wrote Teddy, a top 20 hit for Connie Francis in 1960. Anka wrote the English lyrics to My Way, Frank Sinatra's signature song. In the 1960s, Anka began acting in motion pictures as well as writing songs for them, most notably the theme for the hit film The Longest Day, in which he made a cameo appearance as a U.S. Army Ranger. For his film work he wrote and recorded one of his greatest hits Lonely Boy. He also wrote and recorded My Hometown, which was a number 8 pop hit for him the same year. He then went on to become one of the first pop singers to perform at the Las Vegas casinos. In 1960, he appeared twice as himself in NBC's short-lived crime drama Dan Raven. In 1963, Anka purchased the rights and ownership of his ABC Paramount catalog and re-recorded his earlier hits for RCA Victor, which he had joined in 1960. Like many American recording artists of the mid-1960s, Anka's career was derailed by the British invasion. By the end of the decade, he focused mainly on adult contemporary and big band standards and began appearing regularly in Las Vegas. In the early 1970s, Anka signed with Buddha Records, releasing two albums, the self-titled Paul Anka and Jubilation. The former, first released in 1971, included the track She's a Lady, a song Anka composed that would become the biggest hit for Welsh singer Tom Jones that same year. Anka's version failed to become a chart success. 1970s chart comeback. Frustrated after more than 10 years without a top 25 hit record, Anka switched labels again, which marked a turning point in his career. This time he signed with United Artists and in 1974 teamed up with Odia Coates to record the number one hit, Having My Baby, exposing Anka to a new generation of fans and proved his staying power among his original fan base that was now maturing. Anka also wrote five songs which were included on an album by Don Goodwin. Anka and Coates would record three more duets that made it into the top ten, One Man Woman Slash One Woman Man, I Don't Like to Sleep Alone, and the number 15 duet There's Nothing Stronger Than Our Love. In 1975, he recorded a jingle for Kodak written by Bill Lane and Roger Nichols called Times of Your Life. 
It became so popular Anka recorded it as a full song, which peaked at number 7 in the U.S. pop chart in 1976. The follow-up was another hit that Anka wrote for Sinatra, Anytime, peaking at number 33. Anka's last top 40 hit in the U.S. was in the summer of 1983, Hold Me Till the Morning Comes, which included backing vocals from then-Chicago frontman Peter Cetera. It hit number 2 on the Hot Adult Contemporary Chart, 1990s Comeback. Anka's 1998 album A Body of Work was his first new U.S. studio release since Walk a Fine Line in 1983. Vocalists and performers included Celine Dion, Kenny G, Patti LaBelle, and Skylar Jett. The album included a new version of Hold Me Till the Morning Comes, once again performed with Peter Cetera. In 2005, Anka released an album of big band arrangements of contemporary rock songs titled, Rock Swings, the album provided a mainstream comeback of sorts that saw Anka awarded a star on Canada's Walk of Fame in Toronto. On October 12, 2009, Anka stated that Michael Jackson's new release titled This Is It was a collaborative effort between the two in 1983. According to Anka, after recording the song, Jackson decided not to use it and the tune was then recorded and released by Sapphire. After Anka threatened to sue for credit and a share of royalties, the administrators of Jackson's estate granted Anka 50% of the copyright. An additional song that Jackson co-wrote with Anka from this 1983 session, Love Never Felt So Good, was discovered shortly thereafter. His album Songs of December charted at number 58 in Canada in November 2011. On June 25, 2019, the New York Times Magazine listed Paul Anka among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Italy. Anka engaged in intense collaboration with Italian musicians, including composer-slash-director Ennio Morricone, singer-songwriter Lucio Battisti, and lyricist Mogul. His official discography reports nine singles released by RCA Italiana, but the Italian charts list at least six other songs he interpreted or recorded in Italian. His top hit was Ogni Giorno which scored number one in 1962, followed by Piangero Perte and Ogni Volta which reached both number 2, in 1963 and 1964. Ogni Volta was sung by Anka during the Festival di San Remo of 1964 and then sold more than 1 million copies in Italy alone, it was also awarded a gold disc. He returned to San Remo in 1968 with La Farfalla Impasita by Battisti Mogol. On that occasion, the same title was interpreted by Italian crooner Johnny Dorelli. The pair of singers, however, were eliminated before the final stage of the competition. Anka, maybe only coincidentally, left the Italian scene shortly thereafter. In 2003, Anka came back with an exclusive concert in Bologna, organized by the Italian company Mape during the Sersai exhibition. He recorded a version of My Way with alternate lyrics dedicated to the sponsor of the evening. In 2006, he recorded a duet with 1960s Italian hitmaker Adriano Celentano, a new cover of Diana, with Italian lyrics by Celentano Mogul and with singer-songwriter Alex Britti on the guitar. The song hit number 3. Finland Paul Anka has been very popular in Finland since the beginning of his career. He performed in Helsinki's Linnan Maki in 1959, in Lapinranta in 1989, at the Pori Jazz Festival in Pori on July 19, 2007 and in 2012, and in Tampere three times on August 6, 2008 and on 9 and August 10, 2009. He also appeared in the Las Vegas scene in the 1991 Finnish film Prince of the Hit Parade, directed by Juha Tapaninen. At the end of the film there is an archive footage of Anka's performance in Linan Maki. As background music, Anka performs his song How Long in the film. Other countries With less success than in Italy and Finland, Anka tried the French market as well with his first song being Kam of On with Mireille Mathieu. In 1964 he released an album titled Paul Anka à Paris, the six tracks on side B were sung in French. A single release in Japanese is also reported on his discography. In 1993, he recorded a duet with Filipino singer Razine Velasquez titled It's Hard to Say Goodbye, included on her album Reason Enough. This song was re-recorded several years later by Anka and Celine Dion and was included on his album A Body of Work. Anka has performed four times in Israel, and in 2019 rejected pleas that he boycott the country. Personal Life 
Anka was married to Anne de Zogep, the daughter of a Lebanese diplomat, Charles de Zogep, from February 16, 1963 until 2001. The couple met in 1962 in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where she was a fashion model on assignment and under contract to the Eileen Ford Agency. Zogep, brought up in Egypt, is of Lebanese, English, French, Dutch, and Greek descent. The couple married the following year in a ceremony at Paris Orly Airport. She quit modeling after their second child was born. They have five daughters, Amelia, Anthea, Alicia, Amanda, and Alexandra. On September 6, 1990, he became a naturalized citizen of the United States. In 2008, Anka married his personal trainer, Anna Obaria, in Sardinia. They divorced in 2010, and Paul has full custody of their son. Anna was featured in the Swedish TV3 show Svenska Hollywood Fruer. Anka's autobiography, My Way, co-written with David Dalton, was published in 2013. In October 2016, Anka married Lisa Pemberton in Beverly Hills, California. Acting career. Anka's first acting role in a major film was in a cameo as an army private in The Longest Day. He also composed the title song to the movie. During the late 1950s and early 1960s, he starred in such teen exploitation films as Girls Town and Look in Any Window, in which he played a peeping Tom. He later played an Elvis-hating casino pit manager in 3,000 Miles to Graceland and a yacht broker in Captain Ron. He guest starred as a murder suspect in one of the Perry Mason made-for-TV movies, The Case of the Maligned Mobster. He made guest appearances as himself in the episode Red's Last Day on that 70s show and in the real Paul Anka episode of Gilmore Girls. He made several appearances on the NBC TV series Las Vegas. In 2016, he made another guest appearance as himself in the spring episode of Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, a revival of the original show. Other film and television appearances Anka was the subject of the 1962 National Film Board of Canada documentary Lonely Boy considered a classic work of cinema verite. He wrote and performed songs in the 1985 Canadian children's Christmas cartoon George and the Christmas Star. He appeared on The Simpsons Season 7 episode Treehouse of Horror by singing a song with Lisa in October 1995. In American Idol Seasons 2 and 3, he made a special appearance and sang an adapted version of My Way that mocked the format of the show, as well as participants, judges, and the host. The performance was praised as one of the best moments of the show. Anka was a contestant during season 4 of The Masked Singer, where he appeared as Broccoli. He ended up finishing in 7th place, being revealed in the Group C finals. On Gilmore Girls, Lorelai Gilmore named her Polish lowland sheepdog after Anka. Series co-creator Daniel Palladino chose the name after hearing the Rock Swings album at a coffee house. In the cold open to the episode The Real Paul Anka, both Paul Ankas were featured in a dream sequence Lorelai describes to her daughter Rory. Anka appeared as himself in the American sitcom That 70s Show in Season 2, Episode 2 Red's Last Day.